All right, welcome to the garage. And we got a box today from Ryan Cheney. I believe, I know what's in here, but we haven't opened yet. We got it last week, but we've been busy with Amarillo. We got uh, star shields from Buckeye Lanes that ended up in Amarillo. So, this must be, ah, a note from him. I'll read it later when we're not doing the video, but it looks like a picture, I'm guessing from the bowling alley that it came out of the candle penthouse. Did it close? Is that the story? Okay. We're thinking that the clothes, I'm not sure. Oh, good. We got plastic bags. Let's see, where does he shop? He's stop and shop. All right. Making sure I don't miss something that's wrapped up in here. Oh, wow. We finally have a set of candle pins and multiple bowling balls to hold on. Let's see what we got here. Oh, cool. It's kind of like the 1970s Columbia white dot, kind of with the uh, clear finish on them. Oh, this is TJC's ball. Looks like it's been dropped a few times there. This one may have been accidentally opened up beforehand, but we got two balls. Oh, look, we got another ball. Cool. I like the finish on there. And I think what candle pin is, they set up in the same pattern of bowling pins. It's like the same 10 pin pattern, but you get three shots. So, a good thing we got. At least three balls here because otherwise we'd have to run down and get it and come running back again. It'd be just like my five pin video in the winter time when I was running back and forth on the sheet of ice. Oh, cool. Evidently, he rebanded these for us. It's like they're solid plastic, but there's no markings on them. I guess the candle pins aren't really marked. But cool, we got one, two, We got three, we got four, they look pretty easy. I was wondering, do candle pins wear out? Or do they just, they look like they're pretty solid. They don't really take the impact of a giant bowling ball. There's five, six. Looks like we'll be bowling candle pin this Sunday. Seven, didn't reband that one, that's cool, it's still original. Got seven, eight, nine, and ten. We are set to bowl candle pin now. All right, here is the letter he sent us with the pictures on there. And I'm going to read this off real quick if I can without my glasses. Robert and Aaron, hope you enjoy the this set of candle pins and bowling balls. The pins originally came from Mason's Bowling and Recreation Center in Leominster, Massachusetts, and were active in active service until the center closed around June of 2022. Well, that's too bad. They have been cleaned and for the most part retaped with new red stripe. However, they still retain that well-used look that is common in most candle pin centers. The four candle pin balls have been cleaned and polished as well and should be ready to roll. Below is an exterior and interior photo of Mason's where, when they were in business. Hope you enjoy them. Ryan. Thank you again, Ryan Cheney. And we will. And also, if it was first you don't succeed, uh, try doing what Robert told you to do in the first place. So, thanks again. Thank you. And I think there was one extra ball. There we go. TJC, whoever you were, thank you for having four balls that ended up here in the garage bowling alley here in Dallas, Texas. But there we go. That is our unboxing special on the pins, our candle pins. Thank you, Ryan Cheney, very much. We'll be using them and do some videos on them and appreciate it. Anybody else got anything cool like this, want to send to us, and we'll bowl on it and try it out. Let us know here in the garage. If not, we'll see you Sunday live. Hopefully Mike will be here. 
See you later.